Welcome. Thank you for watching this screencast. This screencast is designed to help you navigate our new EL Education Flex curriculum. In this screencast, you will explore our curriculum website. To explore the Flex curriculum materials, please select the appropriate button on the Flex curriculum landing page. Now, let's start on our homepage, curriculum.eleducation.org. You'll notice three sections at the top of the page detailing new and important information on our curriculum website. Notice the first paragraph on the left, Introducing EL Education Flex Curriculum 2020-21. To access the Flex Curriculum materials, click on Explore Recommendations and K-8 Resources. You will then arrive on the EL Education Flex Curriculum landing page. We are adding resources and materials on a rolling basis throughout the fall. You'll know when we've made any updates to this page by viewing Last Updated at the top of the page. Let's take a look at this page. The top, you'll see helpful bookmarks. The first set of bookmarks are resources linked to other pages. Recommendations and Guiding Principles for 2020-21. This page details high-level and grade-level recommendations for the 2020-21 school year and guiding principles for our development of the FLEX curriculum and module selection rationale. Module selection and rationale. This resource is located on the page described above. It is a sought-after resource and offers suggestions to consider for instruction this year. It also outlines which modules we recommend teaching in the 2020-21 school year and rationales for why certain modules were chosen. Tradebook Access If your school is looking for information about access to books, please take a look at our Tradebook Access page. Here you will find all of the options to access text if you are not physically in school. We offer suggestions for digital access via ebook platform, read aloud videos, and PDFs of print versions of the content. Considerations for cultural responsiveness. This page outlines topics in the EL Education Language Arts curriculum that may need to be adapted to support learning in a remote environment. FAQs. For answers to frequently asked questions, visit our K-8 curriculum FAQ. Below this list is the content found on this landing page. Flex curriculum step-by-step, -step, flex curriculum materials access, guidance for virtual instruction. We'll go through each section one by one. Moving to the first section, Flex Curriculum Step-by-Step. -step. This section provides step-by-step -step guidance by grade band for implementing the Flex Curriculum. Please note the selector button that allows you to navigate between sections. General K-8 Steps, Grades K-2, through two, Grades 3-8. to eight. Moving down to the next section, Access Materials. This section provides access to the K-8 Flex curriculum materials. You can use the table below to access materials via grade level or use the button at the top titled View All K-8 Flex Materials to access the folder for all grades. Please also notice the additional button View Teacher Tools. This folder houses helpful resources for all grade levels, including sample schedules, the K-8 crosswalk, K-2 skills block tools, and other helpful resources. Make sure to keep this handy as you move through instruction. Moving down the table, you will see each grade has materials linked below. We will add links to materials as they're available. Please note, K-2 materials will be released every Friday, and 3-8 materials are released on a rolling basis. All materials are saved in Google Drive and are accessible as view only. 
to edit materials, you may make a copy or directly download for your use in classrooms. There is no need to request edit access to use these materials. Now let's scroll to the two sections for grades 6, 8. One including our second edition 2019 and below that first edition 2012. And now to our final section, virtual instruction guidance for EL Education Flex Curriculum. As you can see, there are seven sections. We begin with general guidance on using video conferencing platforms. In section one, direct instruction, you will find specific guidance for leading lessons or modeling while in a virtual environment. In section two, independent work, you will find guidance for students working asynchronously. For section three, you will find guidance for protocols and student collaboration. Once you expand this section, you will see a link that takes you directly to a virtual instruction classroom protocols document with more detailed guidance on using our protocols synchronously and asynchronously. Section four is specific instruction for students in writing while in a virtual environment. Sections five and six give process recommendations for using our close reading guides and language dive guides. And finally, section seven gives our general guidance on assessments, though you should always check with your school and district for specific assessment guidance. This concludes this screencast, exploration of our curriculum website. I hope you're ready to dive in and use these new tools with your students. If you have any other questions, check our FAQ page for answers or email the curriculum feedback team. Thank you.